how to a b test facebook ads for beginners hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can set up facebook ads and how you can use a b testing so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first what you want to do is you want to come over here onto ads manager on facebook and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and get started with your campaign right you can create an account on ads manager with your facebook account it's pretty easy and really simple just go ahead and open up a new tab and go to meta suites over here meta business suite and here you can go ahead and get started with creating ads and all you gotta do is click on get started and if you hover your mouse on the start now button immediately it tells you to go to the ads manager so click on uh, start now and you can easily go to the ads manager as well so you can see launching ad manager so here we go it's as simple as that. Now, if this is your first time coming over here onto the Meta Business Suite and you click on the Start Now button, it won't immediately take you to the Business Manager or the Ads Manager. It'll first create a business profile and it will ask you to create a Facebook page. If you haven't created one already, you'll have to create a Facebook page and you can easily do that on your own. And then that page and everything associated with that page is going to be your business profile and that will be used over here on the ads manager all right so when you come over here onto the ads manager you can see right here this is the business profile right here business portfolio this is the account here is when you have the id and this is the uh different facebook uh business portfolios that we have you can create a business portfolio by clicking on this button as well so over here all you got to do is click on create a account right so you can set up and run ads over here we come over here onto the left hand side we'll come over here onto account review uh some of this and here you can go ahead and set everything up so here you can see uh we have this warning but that's fine uh here you can go ahead and confirm your facebook page add a payment method i skipped that for now and then you can go ahead and set up your ads right so if you click on set up your ads over here it'll tell you to create a campaign and here you have different types of campaign so you got objectives over here awareness traffic engagements leads app promotions and sale depending upon what type of goal it is that you want you will have different options as well so select whichever option you want so let's say we want sales right we're gonna click on sales and then we click on continue then it's gonna ask us what type of advantages we want this is like the automatic setup with the help of ai if you want to go with that route you can but i would suggest go with the manual sales campaign as it will give you much more options as well so when you select that option it's going to immediately take you to the campaign selection over here or the campaign starting so over here what we'll do is campaign name add whatever campaign you, name you want and then you have special category this does not apply to you or well it won't apply to most of people when they go ahead and create a campaign since over here if you click on categorized uh special categories you will see uh if you have following options like credit cards long-term financing investment service payment and stuff like that then you will go over here if it's not you can go ahead and select this one so my ad does not promote one of the following so as you can see unrelated activity shopping shopping and everything shop reports tax accounting and everything so we'll just leave that as it is and then now below we have categories again if this applies to you like for example product service uh, financial product or service uh formally credit employment housing or social issues then go ahead and select that but if not leave it as it is then you have the campaign details such as auction time of course we need these so leave it as it is and then we have the advanced a plus catalog ads of course if you want to create a catalog let's say you have a shopify store and you want to go ahead and create a ad for that store then you have to go ahead and create a catalog as well so let's go ahead and create the catalog so if we click on create catalog it's going to ask us to add the products over here so we're going to click on add products and it's going to take us to the commerce manager where we can go ahead and set up our shop now here you can go ahead and set up instagram shops any other shop that you want and if you already have let's say a shopify store so we're going to go ahead and click on connect to a platform we're going to select shopify we're going to add the website over here and i'm going to open up my shopify store in another tab and i'm going to copy the url come back to the commerce manager paste it over here and get rid of the dot my shopify.com and here we go also remove the https in the front and we should have it over here get rid of that as well there we go and now we click on continue to shopify then it's going to redirect over onto shopify store it's going to go ahead and find the store open up and install the application so let's go ahead and install it it's going to go ahead and then scan the products that i have in my store and then those products will be available over there and to the 
commerce manager so i'm gonna go ahead and pin that over there as well and here we go finalizing the channel so give it a couple of seconds and we should be good to go and over here you can go ahead and make products available on the instagram and facebook channels as well go into your products here you will see let's say this one right here if we open up this product or we click on all of them click on more option uh, or click on these three dots and click on include in sales channels select all of your sales channels click on include product all four of them will be available right here so you can see all the sales channels are available and now we should be good to go so products are created and all of them are now published as well yeah we should be good to go so now over here coming back to the commerce manager you can see right here create an advantage plus catalog ad here you can select the ad account over here which is available right here click on next and it's going to take us back to the ads manager so again open up over here it should automatically come over here as well but it's going to go ahead and open up over here and if we scroll down you can see right here that the catalog is available we can also select from here let me actually try to reload this page and see whether or not it comes up as well it should pop up scrolling down advantage oh it's not available over here interesting so i guess we can continue from here again changing the category auction type is sale everything looks good actually and then we already have the catalog so we should be good to go and then finally down below we have a b testing as well so if you click on create a b testing here what would you like to test if you want to select creative audience placements whatever select that uh, you can select the test duration and cost as well or we'll change the cost type so such as standard event uh, cost per result cost per click cost per 1000 account cents cost per purchase change whichever option you want and you should be good to go uh recommended is cost per result so we'll keep that and then down below we have reporting so should be good to go so now once you have enabled the texting click on next and finalize your ads so next is going to be your asset name add your asset name over here uh input your performance goal right uh cost per result code add whatever option you want so let's say we want ten dollars which is going to be optional you can see right here the audience looks good and then over here you can even select all products that we have or one product specifically like you know the category that you have daily budget over here and then you have your schedule section over here where you can schedule your ad and then down below you have your audience control where you can go ahead and set up your demographic such as location age groups even the phone and other options as well so everything looks good over here you can go ahead and change it and select the location let's say we want denver right and instead of 1600 we'll go with five kilometer radius get rid of that one looks good it's a little bit in the centered which is okay which is what i would like but yeah i think this was okay minimum age is 18 yeah include these customs as well and then you have audience as well where you can go ahead and create an audience but for now i think this looks good then you have placement where you can go ahead and click on show more and select where you want this to be placed so if you click on edit you can go ahead and select manual placement to go ahead and manually place where you want your ad to be so in feeds uh in stories and reels in stream ads search results messages and apps and everything this looks good then we can click on next and finally add the payment setup and actually take a little bit of preview of it here you add your website link and mobile application add your ad creative over here and that let it run once it's done once it's running you can go ahead and then let it run and since you have enabled a b testing for four days it's going to go ahead and test everything like you know how it's doing and then you will have your results so there you have it this is how you do it this is how you set up a b testing on facebook ads so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye